Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and I have myself a copy of UVI Workstations Emulation 1. Now, we've already seen Emulator 2 from these guys, or their version of it, and now this is the forerunner of it, the original emulator, in a, again, a UVI Workstation format. And as before, we have both the Emulator 1 and the Drumulator, the original Drumulator drum machine. And... Uh, just show you that for a second just bring that back up and there we go which is really nice so uh, as usual I'm going to do a show and tell and uh, to give you my view of it so what you have basically is you the UVI workstation is free this is the container it all sits in this is a basically a multi-channel audio uh, synth workstation that you can uh, sample workstation that you can play it within and you'll need to download the latest version for it to work correctly so this is version 2.0.6 and it once you get this, then you play it through. This is the player. So this is retailing at $99. And this will give you a, a faithful renditions of the original emulator, which one of the, the early sampling devices. In fact, the other day I was watching Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and I think he has one in his bedroom in that uh, where he does the, the vomit and fart noises from his keyboard when he's phoning up the school. So, um, which is always a bit far-fetched because in those days it was... Uh, tens of thousands of dollars so I was always surprised to see that in a film at the time but anyway enough of uh, media and uh, cinema nostalgia and back to the point in question now the emulator one was used by so many top artists Vangelis, Depeche Mode, all sorts of people and uh, this is again another trip down nostalgia lane and memory lane because I was there when this was around and the sounds are just so reminiscent of the era so the way you load in a sound is a number two ways you can do it. you can either double click here and then you'll open up this uh, m menu and first you have a menu of choosing which instrument you want to work with so it's emulator or drumulator and then you have the different sounds that you can go through so go for like basses first we can open that up and there we are so as you can hear not the high definition sound that you have these days, but very reminiscent of the day. So it's, it's the one thing you've got to remember when you uh, use anything like this from UVI is that they're not trying to make it as good as it is now. And compared to top samplers of now, which are obviously 64 bit and uh, have all sorts of features, but what they're actually trying to do is faithful renditions of the originals. And in the originals, very low level sampling quality and uh, all sorts of issues with filters, and that's what makes them sound what they did. And what you have with these sounds, which you don't seem to get as often these days with uh, lots of modern stuff, is the immediacy and the the attack of the sound is just much far more gritty. But once you get the sound in, then you can put it through the legendary uh, filters. Turn the quilt down and they're trying to replicate the filter sounds because often what it was was the filters that made these sounds so cool so there's a few bass sounds let's just double click out again and give you some other ideas then there's bells as I say I won't go through the entire library but I'll give you some sort of Of course, you can either then just go through one by one this way with them. Or you can go down here as well. Now, all those overtones and harmonics you're hearing is sometimes the kind of replication of the, the aliasing that was going on in the early filters where it wasn't quite uh, up to scratch and so you had all sorts of issues with uh, with with sampling and down sampling and and I'm assuming this is called one sample bell because it's it's one bell and then it's put over the whole keyboard you can hear all those artifacts in the sound and that's what you got in the 80s so then we have a envelope here for the amplitude and then we have a filter envelope and then we have uh, assignments of the mod wheel 
then we can choose to have it in stereo or mono with spread and tune, then a drive, and then effects of phaser delay and reverb and, uh, and again, trying to recreate the sound of that period. Now the other thing you get with UVI anyway is you actually do get an arpeggiator and you can use it at any time. And so you come in and there's presets here which are really cool. Go to something like mono, go to something like, okay, let's try this one. And this is very comprehensive. I've actually done a training series for, for this workstation on Groove 3 that you can uh, go and uh, buy uh, or, or watch uh, online or download. And, it, and this is a very thorough uh, sequencer, actually, an arpeggiator. So now let's have a look at the drumulator. And bring that up. Beautifully uh, designed GUI here, really nice. And so what you have, you have your, your keys at the bottom of the keyboard where you can start to, uh, let's just make sure it's on the right channel. So I can actually play you something. Here we go. There, that's good. And you can hear straight away the immediacy of the sounds is just so nice. So go to uh, something like Beatbox. And down here we have the keys where you... You can hear the sounds there. Then on C3, you can trigger the sequencer. Or of course you can actually just keep playing it from here. Let's play you some sounds off here then, so some really nice kick drums. That's really nice. Let's get the original drumulator sound up. You've got filters here. So you can thin that snare out. These tunings are really extreme, which is nice. It's just a case of going through and then step inputting. Let's try some hi hats. Sounds are just so energetic. 
And in fact, I just for the for the drumulation alone, I think for ninety nine bucks, it's pretty cool because the sampling and the, the the realism of the original sounds is really really nice and really cool. Then, of course, what you can then do because it's a workstation, you can work in it multi timbrally. And I just did something earlier just to give you an idea of the kind of thing you can do. So I'm going to just load in a multi I created earlier. Just very straightforward. And we just load that in. And it's made up of a drumulator and then three emulators. And just give you an idea. So what I'm going to do first is just set that going here on the, the groove. And I've got some arps going as well on the kalimba and the bass. And then a pitch pad. So you get the idea, but of course, what you'd really do actually is you'd put that into uh, you'd put that into uh, your DAW, and then you could trigger it, of course, in a door. So it's a multi-timbral playback device. So what do I have to say about it? Well, uh, I think you can imagine straight away. I think possibly the nostalgia of my childhood or most nostalgia of my early music making years uh, is, has been really tantalized by this and so I think it, it ticks a number of boxes for a number of people those who want those classic sounds uh, and also those who want some really really cool uh, retro sounds for their stuff like hip-hop uh, and rap and dance tracks and stuff like that I think the drums in particular have an incredibly immediacy about them that often sampled drums these days don't have it's uh, it's a great device and I know that UVI have been crossing their fingers for so long for me to say what I'm about to say but you know what I do think this deserves editor's choice award because it's a classic rendition of a fantastic instrument in fact fantastic two instruments drumulator and emulator and it really has that immediacy it's really faithful it's really true and uh, they have listened to the the pricing question that we asked them several times and say 99 bucks now which is about 65 english pounds or euros i think this is a great addition to a sound set and well worth checking out and as i say a thumbs up from me editor's choice award thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon